Hey y'all, good morning Grey Bays. I do not know what just happened, but something like my camera just started putting these numbers up. I don't know, it was weird. But I'm on my way to a meeting. I'm gonna be late if I don't leave right now. Surprisingly, I am almost like completely ready. But, cause I'm just not a morning person. But anyway, just gotta put makeup on and get to where I'm going. It's only four minutes away. There are some dove-like birds over there. I don't know what they're doing. I didn't invite them here. But, the reason I'm telling you this, cause like, I'm not telling you it for any reason, actually. There's no reason to have to do that. There's some birds over there, who cares? I was trying to hurry and get this done. Um, get this done meaning get the alarm set and get on my way. But it's not pulling up and I've got to go. I mean, I can set the alarm, alarm remotely, so it's not a problem, but yeah. All right, let's go. Okay, first meeting is done for the day and I had to sneak out before it was totally over, but I'm telling you, I didn't know my friend Chris from Perry Holmes was gonna be there and he was like bringing church to the meeting because he was like trying to pump us up and motivate us, so it was really cool. But, I've gotta go to another meeting, nine o'clock. I'm gonna be about five minutes late but that's okay, I already let her know that I'm on my way. And so let's go do that one. And y'all, that was one, that was a meeting. That was a meeting that I'm like, dang, I should have taped that. He was really good. Um, he was just being like, yeah, we can do this. You can be awesome. And just giving like some tips of what he thought. So, um, real nice guy. He like works out and he's like a fitness model too. So anyway, that's my fitness model. I don't think he does that. <laughs> I don't know what he does. Um, I haven't seen those pictures. So I'm in Dollar General and I actually came in looking for some peeps to do a um, post on, on Instagram. I was gonna do like, hey peeps. <laughs> Give me a call if you wanna buy or sell a house. But I don't see any peeps, so. I also needed um, a pencil, or pencils, I guess. Could use more than one, but I mostly just need one to write my calendar. Because I find I have to erase a lot, and so it's just a little bit more convenient to not have it in pen. Because I don't like whiting out. So I'm gonna get a couple pencils, and uh, yeah, then I'm gonna go to the storage unit, get out a few things there, and then I'm gonna go home. My last name starts with an eight. So, um, we've not hung up anything on the walls, and I'm not sure when we're gonna do it, but I was just talking to the downtown manager today about our decor in our house because I was telling her I hadn't hung up anything because I kind of want to source some art and such from local artists and craftsmen and a couple of people that I reach out to just don't have time to do any commission work for me so I'm just waiting I'm just waiting and I don't know really what I want to hang up but I don't necessarily the stuff that I had up in the old house is fine and I could hang up that again and I may but I kind of wanted just some new art from local artists I also went to a luncheon today and okay so here's the thing these pencils right here my son said are his like favorite pencils to draw with so every time i see him i think of him and i think that's the kind i'm gonna get now they're a little bit more expensive but it says the world's best pencil i mean why would they lie i'm also getting some of these pencil erasers because i tend to use the eraser and so i probably have some at home they're probably packed away, so, and this is just like a dollar, 50 cents, something like that, so they're not expensive. Another trip to the storage unit. I got out one box, it's labeled, I think they're all labeled office. Let me see. Office breakables, office books, and that one is just office. Oh, it says lampshade, extra laptops, wing mom stationery, and lamp for filming, so. I did need the stationery, so that's awesome. I kind of feel like I make like progress and I get stuff done and I check stuff off and I get stuff thrown away or organized 
and then like so I take like two steps forward but then it feels like I take three steps back I just found out that another admin on my team needs to quit because she's juggling too much she has too much on her plate and over and over I say to my whole team my whole volunteer team balance is key balance is important it's super important to me that you have balance because I want to make sure that you know you have enough time for your family you have enough time for your work you have enough time for your extra hobbies and activities that you enjoy doing and that bring you joy I want you to have enough time for relaxation and just quiet time recharging your batteries whatever you need so I never it doesn't bother me when somebody needs to leave but it's just like okay that'll be the fourth person in one week or almost one week so I'm like trying to source replacements is sometimes a little tough but I'm about to make a post in the main wall that will help on the main page for wing moms that will help source us some folks hopefully so Marvin doesn't feel well and I said I would go to the store and get us some NyQuil because we thought we had NyQuil but we don't and he has some other medicine he could take, but I, I can just go get up some aqua really quick. There's the Walgreens right down the street, not too far at all. So that's what we're gonna do. Also, I'm literally wearing my nightshirt. It says, Namaste in bed. Namaste in bed. Get it? I'm, I'm a, anyway. I asked Marvin, I said, doesn't this look like a night shirt though? And he said, haven't you worn that out in public as a regular shirt? And I'm like, yeah, but like today I know it's a night shirt. <laughs> so it just feels like, like I know it's a night shirt today. Last time I wore it as a shirt shirt, but today it is, girl, you look like you are legit wearing your underwear. No, y'all for real. She looks like she's wearing her underwear. So it's just starting to sprinkle. I got the, um, where did I come from? NyQuil. But I got the Walgreens brand, so whatever that's called. But I also found Peeps. I found them in pink, blue, and yellow. So I'm gonna try to think of some posts tonight to uh, just kind of promote my realty stuff. And what I'm gonna try to do is every day in May, I'm gonna try to make a post. I know some vloggers do like an everyday May kind of post situation thing or whatever, which is awesome. But my goal for Instagram and YouTube is to do a post a day in May. Post every day in May, whatever. Something like that. Something called that. And you know, to promote my realty work and promote my influencer work. So that's the plan. So I'm trying to build content now because I know that I'm gonna be out of town. Whoa, sorry. I'm gonna be out of town part of the time. I'm gonna be busy other days. So I've gotta build up content and have content ready to go. I was trying to see what time it is. It's 8.45 and I have gotten some things done today and still got lots to do but I'm making some headway on my pile of papers that I'm trying to whittle down trying to file trying to sort through trying to respond to if it needs responding to I'm trying to get the office cleaned up because so in here there's going to be a bookcase um, over here there's a, gonna be a bookcase and that's the thing that's being painted or in the process of being repainted out in the garage my dad made that in January of 1986 and anyway it's, it's gonna go over here and that's where I'm probably gonna color code my books maybe just stick my books up there I'm not really sure just yet but that's where that's gonna go the desk is gonna stay here and above the desk is gonna be my cork board. 
And then over here, I think I'm going to put, like 99% sure I'm going to put my Oh The Places Will Go thing. But I thought about putting the Oh The Places Will Go above where the bookcase is going to go. So I kind of have like a corner of like stuff. But then I need like art over here. But I do have art that I could put up here. And then also, as I was mentioning earlier, I want to source some local artists to do some things as well. This wall over here is going to just stay blank because I'm going to film against it. So I'll have natural light coming in from this window over here. And I can put my ring light, my ring light, like behind the camera here and have the camera here. And then I'll have a blank wall. And so in theory, I would film with the door closed so we're not disturbing anybody and then you would just see a blank wall i also just ordered a um thing to carry the uh it's not what i ordered i ordered one of those backdrop holders so in case i want to change the backdrop to something else i already have the rig to set that up with my daughter's coming in two weeks from tomorrow and i anticipate us filming then but in the meantime I have got to get this. This is the cat's toys. These two, these are the cat's toys. So those can just be picked up and moved out of the way for when my daughter comes because we're going to set up uh, an air mattress in here and Joseph is going to sleep in the guest room. And Joseph has to, well, we're having Joseph sleep in the guest room because I'm keeping the cats out of there because he's allergic. Didn't really know that. But so I'm trying to keep the cats out of that guest room. For one, they don't need to be in the guest room anyway. For two, um, since he's allergic, I'm trying to minimize the amount of cat hair that's in there. And so then he hopefully won't have as much like sneezing and stuff. So in here, I'm trying to finish organizing this. And as I put things in, I'm trying to make sure I've organized it. So the top two shelves have been done. And actually the third, the one, Okay, that one up there, this one right here, and then this one right here, that shelf there. Those are done. And I have two more shelves to go, and of course all the junk that's on the floor. And that actually won't take me too terribly long to put away, because some of it is like tax paperwork, and I just need to push it into the corner, because that's where I'm storing it. And then other stuff is like, ah, oh, where am I gonna put this? Because although I have a ton of room, I also don't have a ton of room. But it's okay. It's all going to work out. I just need to kind of figure out where I want to store things because I also have the cabinets over here in the bathroom that... See, like, I might even put... And I know this sounds silly, but I might even put, like, filming stuff under here and in these drawers here because they're really pretty, they're really pretty deep. And so I could put filming stuff in there and just like hand towels and like regular bathroom stuff in one of these drawers. I could just put like regular bathroom stuff because under here is where the cat litter is. I store cat litter under there. And so, um, because this is the cat area, here's the cat area. So part of this is going to be kept for cats because I built a special area so they had a place and in the house where they could, like I could, in theory, shut the door. They'd be okay because they could have food and water back here. But, um, so anyway, I need to figure out, like, where I'm going to put, um, what is, okay. Some, sorry, some of the Scentsy, um, wax was on my counter and I'm like, <laughs> what is that red? What is that red stuff on my brand new granite? Um, but it's just wax, it comes off. So, um, I have a little bit to do. And so I was just talking to Kat for a long time tonight and I was telling her, I was like, okay, so every time I come into the room, I'm gonna try to put two things away. Try to do something with two different things, put them away, put them in a better spot, something. And I'm sorting through paperwork out in the kitchen in living room and that's going well and I'm making headway. So I know by the time two weeks passes, I'll be in a much, you know, we'll, we'll be in a much better spot. I still haven't gotten to the point where I can really like edit videos because I really need to get this paperwork sorted through because I have to file taxes. 
Um, and I have to file some other taxes and I just have some things to do that are like more pressing than editing videos. Even though I like, I like talking to y'all. I like y'all seeing my videos, but, um, I've got some other things that I really just have to get done. So I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna end the video here and, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, tune in tomorrow because I'll have a hot chocolate chat. And if you're not following me on Instagram, Our Gray House, you, you're going to miss it, but you won't miss it because then it'll be here. And then you'll see it tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow's video. Yeah, tomorrow's video because I'm going to film one in the morning, I think. Pretty sure. The only thing that I have to do tomorrow is I have a realtor luncheon with my friend that I saw this morning at the MLS meeting, Chris. And then I have a Facebook for business event. It's in Fort Worth. We're expecting pretty heavy rain tomorrow. So if that, if it's pretty bad weather, I'm just not going to go because Fort Worth is an hour away from where I live anyway. And so, um, that's just a little bit far, a little bit far to be driving in bad weather. And if you don't know, Texas gets severe weather. Like we have tornadoes, we have severe thunderstorms, lightning, all that kind of stuff. And it just makes driving just like more dangerous because people can't already drive you know, they don't know how to drive in this weather so we don't need to add to it by adding rain or thunderstorms so if it's bad i won't go but if it's okay weather then i'll go and i'm getting pleased i like when i clean up something i like oh i just want to look at it because it looks so pretty <laughs> cleaned up but anyway i'm gonna let you guys go i hope you have a great night and don't forget be kind to others and i'll see you tomorrow Bye.